response deprivation hypothesis. If I deprive you of a response, the completion of said response becomes more valuable in the future. Response deprivation hypothesis. <laughs> what do you want? Um, let, let me give you an example with Cheerios. I'm not Cheerios. How about Fruit Loops? Um, I was a Cheerios Chex Grape Nuts kid. That's all that my parents allowed in the house was that. Like, that's it. <laughs> like no Cinnamon Toast Crunch, no Chex, no, no Chex were okay. Um, no Fruit Loops, no anything sugary, right? Um, so I'd largely raised my children that way, but every once in a while, it just, it just they, they, their, their verbal demands, their, their manding gets too much and I buy, I'll, I'll get them something, right? The last time I went and bought um, some Fruit Loops, which I found out are actually less sugary than some of the other cereals that I thought were sugary. But anyway, data always wins. Um, so uh, I went ahead and bought one and I, then I was pushing the cart down the aisle and I went, response deprivation hypothesis. In a sense, it's been so long since they've eaten sugary type foods, right, that uh, um, I figured I better get two or three boxes. So I got three and they were gone in four days. <laughs> um, I was expecting them to last a little longer, but they've been deprived of that particular stimulus, right? So I'm kind of giving you a bad example, but the, if you generalize that example a little bit, it'll make sense. You can do the same thing with activity. Right now, it would be very valuable for me to go skiing. I haven't gone skiing in a long time. I would like to go skiing. I think it would be fun. In fact, I would work very hard to go skiing, but response deprivation hypothesis, right? I've been deprived of that, so it becomes more valuable. As a result, um, people could probably use that to coerce me, or not coerce me, but prompt me or motivate me to do certain things. Hey, Ryan, if you do this, you can go skiing today. Response deprivation hypothesis makes it more valuable, ties in with pre-MAC principle.